everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. If you don't know me, my name's Ailey and I make loads of different videos on this channel. I do fashion, lifestyle, interiors, mum tips and just general life tips and just loads of different stuff over here. So today's video is going to be all about money and budgeting and saving money and just getting on top of your own finances and this is something I had to do a couple of months ago because if you don't know, I recently went self-employed and I'm now doing my YouTube and Instagram and things as my own business. So I have had to go from a job that paid me a monthly sal salary to managing my own money and invoicing different companies and getting that money in and making it pay the bills rather than just being like a little extra. That has been quite difficult because when you do this kind of thing as a job, the money comes in all over the place. All your bills still come out on the same day of the month. So I got all my bills at the end of the month on the day that I used to get paid from my old, old job and I need to make sure that I've got the money in there to pay for those bills on that same day every month and I also need to have my money for like living my life and spending and stuff like that. So I wanted to talk you through some of the things that I did to kind of get on top of that. First thing I did was to analyse my outgoings and my incoming. I went onto my bank. If I get something in my face, this keeps happening. <laughs> I said this in the last video. Anyway, um, so the first thing I did was to go and look at my outgoings, debits and credits on my account for like the last month. So I looked at all my direct debits, worked out what my outgoings were, and then I looked through every single debit transaction on my account to see like, where am I spending money? Where am I losing money? Where am I wasting money, most importantly? I had a shocker when I realized that in 30 days, before I did this, I had spent £90 in the co-op. Now, if you've watched my channel, you'll know that I do a meal plan every week, but I didn't realise how often I was just nipping into the shop and getting like one or two things and spending money every time. That was a bit of a shocker and it's something that I should have done ages ago. I just hadn't looked through my transactions to see how much I was actually spending. So that was definitely something that I wanted to change. Um, I spent a lot of money in the co-op. I was spending money on things like food when I'm out, just buying like the odd bottle of juice the odd coffee, um, there's so many different things that were just little expenses that when you go back and add them up, you realise that that's a lot of money, like I'm wasting a lot of money. So that's what I did with my debits, so I looked at that and I'll come back to that in a wee second. Then the next thing that I did was to look at my outgoing, so I just spent the night going through each and every bill to see that if I could reduce that in any way, so we have things like Council tax, there was nothing we could do about that, unfortunately. Things like insurance, now that is definitely where you can save money. So car insurance, home insurance, travel insurance, life and care, clip, ugh, why can't I never say critical? Critical illness insurance, all of those kind of things. So I just went through those, every single bill that I had and went on to Money Supermarket, Compare the Market, um, what's the other one, Confused.com. If you go through them, you will be able to find if you are getting the best price. And I will say, as someone who has worked in the insurance industry, loyalty will not get you anywhere. You are not going to have a better premium than someone because you've been with the same company for 10 years. Every single year that your insurance is due, you need to go online, search through different companies, make sure that you're updating your details more importantly because things change year on year. So we did all of that and we managed to save a little bit of money on our outgoings. Back to the meal plan situation. So once I realised that I was spending too much money in the co-op, the things that I was buying in the co-op were just things that I was missing off from my food shopping and that was because I was trying to keep my food shopping bill down. So I wasn't actually keeping my food bill down, I was just moving it elsewhere to a more expensive shop. You might have noticed in my last few food hauls have been about 70 or 80 pounds where I used to try, whereas I used to try and get it to about like 55, 60 pounds. So I've added about 20 pounds on to my food shopping bill every week, but that's because I have been doubling up on things like yogurts. We always run out of yogurts towards, towards the end of the week. I doubled up on bananas, um, snacks and things like that. Bought a little bit more milk than we normally would buy. Bought more bread and I don't know, I was trying to save money in the wrong place, I think. So I have put up my food shopping bill, but the less time that I spend in the co-op, the better. So the next thing has actually been a video in its own right and that is how to save money on your weekly food shop. I'm going to leave that linked below rather than go over everything again but the main points on that are to switch to own brand 
products if you go to the supermarket. I go to Lidl at the moment, but I do think it's important to switch up different supermarkets just to see if you're getting a better deal elsewhere. Also, if you're doing online shop, try it and get a delivery saver. You can get this through Tesco. It's something like $6.99 and it means that you can get unlimited delivery throughout the whole month. So that just becomes like part of your direct debits and it's something that will save you a lot of money because you'll find that sometimes if you're getting an online shop, it will cost you like £4 to get it delivered. We actually could pay like £7 for the month. I wanted to add in another thing for people that do online shops and I actually still really like doing online shops but at the moment I'm just going through a wee phase when I'm going to the shop. My sister actually has recommended another good way to make sure that you're only buying things from the supermarket and not stopping in at the shop. She actually has a has the delivery saver which as I said was like seven pounds a month so you can actually get two deliveries a week if you want through that service and you can do your first food shop on a Monday and your second one to come on a Thursday and that will restock you up for the weekend with all your fresh things like milk, bread, all your dinners and things like that you can do a second meal plan for the week so your first meal plan is only like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday or Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday um, and then you do one for the other half of the week so she will do two £40 shops whereas I will try and do like one £80 shop but I think her way of doing it is actually really really good because everything stays fresher and it just gets delivered to your door so it's not like you're having to actually go to the shops twice a week so yeah that's another really good one courtesy of my sister. <laughs> Something else that I noticed on my outgoings that was quite shocking was how many times I would go and spend like £15 and not think too much of it. Going to the shops for a look about. Now we all know that nobody just goes for a look about. No matter what, I'll pick up something that's five, £10, £15. Like something that I didn't need. If I needed it, then I would have specifically went out to get it. Um, but this is things that all add up. And it's only when you look back at the end of the month that you can see how many of those little five, ten pounds, fifteen pounds have actually cost you? It's probably like a hundred pounds. It's probably something that you could have put aside to buy a much bigger and more important purchase that you probably needed a lot more. Going to the shops, window shopping is not a good leisure activity if you're trying to save money. So I would definitely avoid. Another really good thing to do to save money if you're buying things online, which is how most of us shop these days. If I am buying things off ASOS or any other shop online, I will always use a website called Top Cashback or Groupon. There's different sites that you can go on and literally all you have to do is click through to the website and make an order through that and you'll get something like 5% cashback, um, which is nothing at the time. But if you do that on every single thing that you buy, it's better than nothing. If you're gonna buy something, go and get 5% off it. If there was an option to like tick a box to get 5% off, you would do it. So why not just go to this website first and click the website. So it's a really, really good way of doing it. Um, another good thing to do is if you're buying off ASOS or New Look or anything like that, before you make your purchase, go and Google for voucher codes. So there's a specific websites set up to find voucher codes and you might just find that there's a 20% discount there or a 10% or a free delivery that will just save you a little bit of extra money for no extra effort. Last but not least, I wanted to add in a personal one for me. So as I said, I noticed that I spend a lot of money on things like a bottle of water when I'm out. First of all, it's a waste of money. I don't like having all these plastic bottles that you just put in the bin. I don't know if it's just me, but every single time I get in the car or go out for the day, I feel thirsty. I need to get a drink. I just feel instantly thirsty. I don't know what it is. So I always find that when I go out, the first thing I'll do is go and buy a bottle of water or go and buy a can of juice or something like that. And it's just it's a mental thing and rather than just bringing one with me I was spending like one or two pounds every time I would go out. As you'll have seen in my hauls before I have loads of bottles of water and if I'm trying to do a health kick and carry my water about with me everywhere I will always have it but it's not become a daily habit so I am now starting to do that. I'm refilling my bottle of water and I'm taking it out with me. I'm usually putting a wee bit of diluting juice in it because I feel water is a bit boring and I will also take out a snack with me so as I said, I'm buying so many more snacks in Lidl. We have a full snack drawer and I'll just take something with me, pop it in the changing bag because I do that for the kids when we're out and for some reason don't do it for myself. So I've started doing that now and it means that I don't have to nip into the co-op. I don't need to just get myself a little juice and something to eat um, if we head out. And those little savings should all add up. Sorry if this has been a really rambly video. It's just one that I wanted to film and just make it like a casual chat. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I am gonna go and make myself a cup of tea because I don't know if you could tell that my throat's really sore. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.